Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay and today I am going to create a very quick video for you showing how I choose to personally up pot my peppers. Now today I have two varieties. I have this lovely BBG7 crossed with a PDN pink. And I have this not so lovely looking white jalapeno. Now this guy has been outdoors. We have had some gray days and he is looking a little lackluster, but I'm hoping that up potting it will make it grow and feel much better. So let's get started. I've got two pots here. I do the majority of my gardening in pots. I don't have a lot of garden space, so I have a lot of my stuff in pots. Um, I can move it around my house. I can move them indoors if I need to, but most importantly, I can fill up my deck and my stairwell and everywhere that a pot can fit with a plant. <laughs> so I'm just going to start by putting a little bit of soil at the bottom of my pot. Oops. And let's pick our first plant. Let's do the white jalapeno first. Now, when I pot up my peppers and my tomatoes, I like to plant them very deep. Now, peppers and tomatoes are very unique in the sense that if you plant their stalk deep into the ground, they will sprout roots. As long as it has good connection with moisture, uh, so water, right, and some soil, it will start to sprout roots. So I am making this look really silly today and I'm clipping all but the very top leaves. Now, when I take this out of its container, it's got some nice roots, but it hasn't had very good um, air flow. They are in solo cups, so it's not the best thing to use. I should have maybe created a few more air holes for my plants. I am lightly massaging the roots to help loosen them up, to encourage them to grow um, not in their root bound state. I'm going to set my plant in there and I'm going to fill up around it, covering as much of that stem as I can. Now today I am using Garden in Bloom potting soil. This over the past few years has become one of my staples. I like how it performs, but I also like its cost effectiveness, especially for an organic soil. Plus there's a lot of retailers close to me that carry it, so it's usually pretty easy to get my hands on, which I appreciate. super simple. Now a good portion of that stem is underground. It is sticking out quite a bit because we didn't have that much depth, but these leaves will start to reappear and they will reappear a lot more healthy than the ones that I cut off. I'm going to finish by putting my name tag on it. And this year for a lot of my peppers and tomatoes, I'm just using these little wraparound tags. I feel like they hold on a little bit better, but we will test how well they work and how they stand up to the elements. And voila, plant number one. Let's hope I have enough soil for plant number two. Let's see. There we go. Now, plant number two is this beautiful BBG7 that is crossed with a PDN pink. Let's take this out of here. It's got a little baby on the side that I'm gonna pluck out. And again, I'm going to clip off most of the lower leaves. Now, again, I'm doing this for a few reasons. I want the root, or I want the stem to sprout roots. I also, don't want any of these leaves touching the soil uh, because the more leaves that touch the soil, the more we're going to have to deal or combat different bacterial problems or fungus problems. 
and I want really healthy plants, so I like to keep them slightly trimmed so that none of the leaves are touching the soil. This goes for peppers and tomatoes for me personally. There we go, loosening up those roots. I'm excited to see what this one looks like. I have not grown this variety this year. I don't even have a towel. Um, so it's a new one for me, I'm pretty excited. Let's get this filled up. Now this one's gonna look really tiny all of a sudden because it's just gonna be sticking out right above the soil. But I'm hoping to get some really nice root growth. I probably will not realize that I'm getting much growth initially because most of it will be happening under the soil line. There we go. But after it's able to sprout a little bit more of a robust root system, I should see some top growth. Perfect, we have enough. Super easy. Now one thing I'm a big proponent of, especially with potted gardens where you are growing edibles, make sure to fertilize and give your plants nutrients so that they are prolific and you don't spend a ton of time growing a plant that doesn't produce for you. Look at that one. Beautiful. Get the name tag on. And don't forget to follow my social media, PNW underscore heirloom underscore C. I am having lots of giveaways lately with some awesome holographic Kang Star Lemon Starburst vinyl stickers, as well as some other really awesome Kang Star Lemon Starburst vinyl stickers. And check out my Amazon Live. I go live weekly about five times a week where I do a lot of this stuff live and you can interact with me if you are logged into your Amazon account. I'll see you next time.